Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to my weekly Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are simple, fun, and easy to recreate. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's card, I'm featuring the Free as a Bird stamp set. Now, I've been stamping for a few years now, and this is probably the cutest image of birds that I have ever actually had the pleasure of working with. I love everything about it. Even the cherry blossoms are awesome. So good job to the artists. Here is Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm inking up the red rubber stamp and this is a piece of Whisper White. Um, I can't remember exactly what size it is but it's just big enough to hold the image of the four little birdies on a branch. So now I'm going to come in and quickly color them with my blends markers and this is Crumb Cake, the combo, so light and dark. You can get markers, uh, these markers for about $12 in a combo set. I usually plunk down my darkest color and this happens to be Daffodil Delight that I'm working with right now. And so the darkest shade I put down first and then I sort of blend it out with the lightest shade. And you can see here that I'm leaving the bellies of the birdies uh, open because I'm coming in with petal pink and their bellies are going to be just a little bit of a blush color. So now I'm just going back and forth with light and dark and just blending it up. And you'll see at the final pictures how lovely this image turned out. So I'm using pumpkin pie for their little orange beaks and then old olive, this I'm working with dark right now and then I'll go in with the light and blend the branches out and I do use a little bit of petal pink on the inside of the cherry blossoms uh, no I don't color them fully though because cherry blossoms are white mostly so here's a piece of old olive and I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink again to stamp the sentiment that says the world needs more of you. So now I've decided to use my detailed trio punch and get that little image in the corner and I've used a little bit more of old olive and I'm just going to adhere it to the back so that you'll see a little bit of green in that corner. I have no idea why I did it, I just wanted to play around. So here is the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper and this paper is absolutely gorgeous as well. The image of the birdies is popped up on dimensionals and then I put dimensionals on the old olive sentiment piece as well. So using my bone folder to crease my whisper white thick card base and I'm going to put some clear wink of Stella on that punch out part and the bellies of the birds. So that's my quick and easy card for you today. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.